Hi there, my name is Ryan, and I have a one pound koi in my hand. What does this mean to you? It was manufactured in 2017. It's reasonably heavy. But when you see this, what does it actually mean to you? What can you do with it? How much of your lives is this going to count for? Sure, for most of us, a single one pound coin, dollar or euro, doesn't mean much. However, this is not the case for most of the world. Let me start with a story. A personal one that as a little kid had a big effect on me. A few years ago, I was with my mother on holiday in India. She's from there. We were at the swimming club about to go for lunch and I wasn't happy to go leave. Unfortunately for me, my mother insisted, so we left. I was dragging my feet unhappily. I spent most of the car ride looking down and sulking. Once we stopped at a red light, I heard a sound. Tick, tick, tick. I didn't stop looking at my feet, but the sound began to get louder. Tick, tick, tick. I looked up and saw through the window two children around my age. Their clothes were ragged and their faces looked as if they hadn't been cleaned in months. I looked at my mother and asked, why are they so dirty and why are they tapping on our car window? My mother explained that they were street children and were dirty because they had no access to clean bathing facilities and they were tapping on our car window because they needed money and their parents were probably dead or couldn't afford to take care of them. I asked my mom, where do they live? And she replied, probably on the streets. At that moment, my heart dropped to the floor. I just spent the last 20 minutes sulking about how I had to leave the pool and go to lunch. And what did these children have? Nothing, it seemed. I asked my mother if we can give them some money. And she gave me a free of peas and handed, I handed it to the street children. They looked so happy to receive it. This moment really stuck with me. We returned to London a few days later, but I never forgot that experience. It felt so awful to see those children having to beg for money, but it also felt good to be able to help them. My mother said though, that this wasn't always the best way, as the kids would often have to risk the money getting having it stolen or giving up to an adult. It made me think, how could I really help? Fast forward a few years, my mother is involved with a charity called Green Shoots, which provides holistic and sustainable development programs. It combines economic empowerment with access to education and medical aid. This charity helps whole communities, including children with basic necessities and education. One evening in mid-November last year, a week after my 11th birthday, Green Shoots invited both my mother and I to an event. The event was about a poor community. The, the event was about a sustainable farm in, in Cambodia, and this was an evening to benefit the farm through donations. How did I get involved with helping this community? Well, I saw a sign that items were needed, such as furniture and other important objects. I looked for something I could buy with my money and saw a bench that I could afford. I asked my mom if I can donate, and she said, Yes, of course. I know that this does not seem like a lot, but when many people donate a small amount, it, a small amount of their overall wealth, this amounts to far more than a single bench. It means a bed, perhaps. It means a table. It means it means food that goes on the table. It can even mean an education, something I'm sure we all take for granted. At some point soon, I will be going to Cambodia to see the children sitting on the bench that my money helps to buy. I cannot wait for this to happen and to meet the children. At the beginning of this talk, I asked what a one pound coin meant to you. I've recently been thinking about what it means to me. Sometimes it means a bar of candy. Sometimes it means popcorn at the movies. Sometimes it can even fall behind my desk and I don't see it for weeks. Because of this, every time I have a one pound coin, I put it in a jar I've labeled my green shoot jar. Most of the time, I don't even realize that it's gone. This made me think, what if all these children in more developed countries help with kids and teens in lesser developed countries? How many schools, how many benches, lives, and schools could we help build? 
You can help with food, clothing, housing, and schooling. Either by helping at the Neighborhood Food Bank or by donating to your favorite charity at home or abroad. It doesn't matter how little we donate, even one pound. We can communicate by letter or email with the children we are helping and become friends. I think children helping children would make a better world. Thank you.